Hey, good morning. It is Friday, April 26th, I think. Uh, 2000 and yeah, I keep getting the dates mixed up because I'm shooting a lot of videos this morning. So the reason I'm shooting this one is because we just finished up the spray session, which is the part two subscriber challenge, just using basic colors. This is the results for the Threadfin Shad. And I'm gonna let you guys take a look at that. Just using basic starter colors. So if you get those little kits out there, starter colors being white, black, those are usually opaque colors, and then transparents, red, yellow, bright blue, and occasionally you'll get green in your starter color. And we did use the green on the yellow perch, which was the first of the two-part subscriber challenge, which Colin George, uh, thank you so much for challenging me. His YouTube handle is LucidVax. So once again, big shout out to you. If you guys want to see me do more of those type challenges, leave me some comments below. Um, I'll take a look at every single one of them. You know, I always, uh, I reply to every single comment. Um, and if I've missed, it's only because I have not seen it in time and I'll have to go back through. But I try and make sure you guys get answers to the questions and the comments that you leave me. Or at least appreciation for watching. Because I do, I appreciate it. And we're approaching, this is probably going to be the 402nd video, so I'm not going to do this one this week. This is turning into a workshop update, um, but you guys are probably going to see this Sunday morning, um, only because I've got some other stuff scheduled that I wanted to get up. But the, my days are blended together. I wanted to show you a couple of pieces that are going out. This is the Rayburn's Revenge. It's on uh, a couple of holographic lipless cranks. Now these are already boxed and they're ready to go out this morning being Friday morning so I'm not going to unbox them um, and they're going to a couple of different places so this is that kaleidoscope blue green. You guys have seen this dusted gill. It's a cool pattern. I love doing this gill. This is one of the most fun ones that I've done. A quarter ounce finesse style crappie on a lipless, hand painted eye. Uh, you know, obviously this the whole thing is hand painted, but the eyes don't come out on these. These are similar to the the traps that you find. Only this is the quarter ounce finesse version of that. You want to troll these things slow, by the way. These are not rippable. Um, at least they don't rip really well. They flutter really, really well, and um, you can you can pull them up off the bottom and slow roll them. So they do pretty well like that. Just a little tip for you guys. This is cool. These things, I tell you what. Now these are the um, these are the replicas of the Booya slash Strike King slash Excalibur. Um, there's three that are very similar out there. So this is the this is the Ozark Trails blank. And it's not really a blank. Um, it's a repaint. But the cool thing, and I've said this before, if you guys have not, just go grab one. It's like two bucks at Walmart and go throw it and see how it reacts and see if it's something that you would want to repaint. And uh, I tell you what, they are phenomenal in the water. You can rip these. You can pop them off the bottom. You can slow roll them. There's, I mean, these are really, really put, well put together lipless cranks. But this is that purple crawl. almost like a Nolan's crawl. This is that transparent gill. Oh, I think you guys have seen that before. This is an Arkansas River crawl. That bright, bright orange crawl, crackle crawl. So, Heather, a.k.a. Grab Life by the Fish, and Mark, your orders are going out this morning. And just a couple more to show you. Did another Jacunda Cichlid Pike on request. And uh, this pattern, now I've done a hard stencil for the black parts on this, which is pretty cool. Um, 
But this pattern I actually saw in one of John B's videos where he was in the Amazon and he caught a gorgeous pike cichlid, which is a jacunda, and I had to copy it. So this is that copy. I've got it on a few other, um, few other lures, this pattern, but it's just, it's so pretty. They're such pretty fish. And I'm glad you requested that, Heather. And then we've got another fire crackle. It's like the fire tiger and a crackle. And short and sweet, you'll see this video of the spray session next, and that will be the 400th video. So by the time you see this video, that video is already aired. And I know I'm doing it a little crazy, but it's there's a plan involved because it's the weekend. So I'm scheduling uploads. I'm actually going to be editing. I'm going to take an entire day and edit like three or four videos and then get back to spraying because just like always, I know there's always papers up there, but they're always different papers which is a good problem to have, and I love you guys for it. So you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thanks so much for walking, watching. <laughs> thanks for walking. It's good for your health. Um, no, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if I sound a little disconnected, it's because I've got a wicked, wicked, wicked toothache. So I'm going to try and take care of that as well. You guys take care. We'll see you on the water. Happy casting. Hey guys, just a quick add-on to the workshop update for uh, what you guys are seeing. I had a couple more pieces I wanted to go over. I know we were a little bit short on time last time. There was a whole bunch going on. To be honest, the last couple of days I really haven't felt like talking. I've had a rocking toothache. It's starting to get better. Yes, I'm going to go see a dentist. Um, but it's one of my least favorite things to do. But that's probably a contributing factor. Actually, it's a crown that broke off. Um, a crown of many, many years ago. So yeah. Crevasse lost her crown. Oh well, it happens. Um, no, all joking aside, I just, I've felt miserable the last couple of days, so I've kind of been down and out. I'm feeling a little bit better, so let's get into these pieces. Let's start with the rat runner. This is a squirrel rat, basically. I put a little bit more gray on this, um, but it's got that rusty kind of gray-brown look that you'd find in squirrels. So... These are custom orders for James that are getting ready to go out this week. I've got three more to his order, and those are both college inspired. But as you all know, I'm going to be doing that without the logos because that's illegal. Um, without consent, express written permission from the collegiate facilities, you can't do it. Um, this is an exception to that because the dancing bear, um, the patent ran out on that a long time ago. So yes, we can use those. So this is, uh, he, he requested some really cool stuff. It's kind of out of the box thinking for me. So I got to do some hand detail on this, which is pretty awesome. Um, these are gonna be gifts for some folks, I think on a, on a big trip this uh, June, maybe June or July. So that's coming up for him. I'm pretty excited uh, that he wanted me to be a part of that. So this is that, the tie-dye, dancing bear, the squirrel, and then let's get into the uh, Frog chop, hop and chop. So this is a pattern that I put together, oddly enough, at the on the same exact day that Garcia was putting together uh, a really, you, you need to go check out his pattern. I'm sure everybody's like, oh my God, you guys copied off of each other. We did not. Um, just one of those random, weird, great minds think alike type deals. Um, he posted it and I'm like, oh crap. So I had to shoot him a picture because I was already midway into this. I'm like, um, I don't know how this happened, but we both have really cool patterns. So check out his pattern. He, I think he put it on the custom lore showcase. And then this was a request. This was an actual request on the pattern and how to do the pattern from my client. So I don't think it's the same client. Um, but this is a multi-layered frog chop custom musky. You can see how big the blade is on this. It fits in my hand. Um, so yeah, it's got some purple vein in it. We'll call it the Purple Haze Hop and Chop. And uh, if you guys like musky lures and you're interested in doing something like this with me, just shoot me a message. Let me know. I'll be happy to accommodate at a reasonable price. We are not all made of money, and I certainly recognize that. So just uh, let me know what kind of pattern you're looking for, and I will be happy to put my spin on it and make it come to life. This is finished now. 
Um, started this prior to Sunday, but again, yesterday and the day before, just miserable, 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 felt awful. Um, so this went to clear coat on the first session Sunday night, and it went to second clear coat. Both of these did. Um, they get double dipped because they are musky patterns, and they're going to get chewed on um, a bit more than a bass bait would. But this is the Night King with the seven um, pointed star eyes which was a reveal for this particular season. But this is also a multi-layer. This is a five-layer deal. So it takes five different types of stencils and wraps and netting and painting and all kinds of crazy stuff to pull something like this off. Um, you can see the, the muscles ripped here. You can see the under layers exposed on the bottom. Um, there's various levels of paint on this. So this is not a quick pattern to do. This is a very advanced, fun pattern to do. Um, and no, I know, I know. Everybody asked me for the, uh, the recipe. But I want you guys to be creative on some of this stuff. I can't give away all the game. I can't, I can't do it. Um, but this, this is going out to uh, Mr. Francis, and he's going to be getting these this week. It's probably going to go tomorrow. And uh, man, what a, what a blast. I love doing stuff like this. I love thinking out of the box for you guys. And uh, I sure do like making those, those patterns and your, your thoughts and creations come to life. So, and then we always ship the hooks with the baits, but separately because I don't want to mess up stuff like this. Um, and that's what I've got for you this morning. Um, that's not ready to show yet. These are not blanks, but they're something that is something else that's really cool. And it's a great swimmer. And the blanks cost a about 50 cents and they swim phenomenal I'll just give you a sneak peek at this but uh, these are awesome awesome baits awesome uh, they kind of resemble a mouse in the water so I was testing the pattern out a little bit yesterday morning I went for just a couple of hours because I just I didn't feel good at all um, and I tested a white one that's got a little pink in it and I'm gonna turn that into a, I think a rat I'm gonna do some some custom stuff on this but cool they're cool blanks um, and I'll more to be revealed on that. So that's what I got for you today. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. I'm feeling a little bit better and I promise I'll be at a dentist before, before you know it. So you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Happy casting.